I'm Margaret. For today's recipe, I'm making this lovely Italian bread, which serves as a side for so many dishes. It's great as a tear and share, and you can add so many different toppings. Just choose your favourite. Well, while I've been talking, I've added all the dry ingredients to the bowl, stirred in the salt, stirred in the yeast, and now I'm adding oil and a little bit of honey to the warm water. Let's give it a little mix so that honey doesn't sink to the bottom. In it goes. And let's give that a jolly good stir. Now this dough is going to be quite a wet dough. So although you can knead it on a board with plenty of oil so it doesn't stick, I find it much better to use this little hand mixer with a dough attachment. You've seen me do this so many times before, so let's whiz forward. Five minutes later, and it's beautifully smooth and soft. Just look how lovely and silky that is. Let's just get the last little bits off the dough hook. And look at that, so beautifully sticky. So, I've measured this baking paper and it will fit in the baking tray I'm using perfectly. I'm going to cover my hands with oil so that I can actually lift the dough up because without it, believe me, it will be stuck to your fingers and you couldn't get it off. I'll spread it out a bit, cover it up and leave it for an hour. Then hey presto, it's risen to at least half its size. Now this is where we need to be quite careful. We don't want to get rid of the bubbles that are in the dough. We gently pull it to fit the baking paper and make a lovely rectangle. Let's see if I can slide it onto the tray. That will do nicely. We'll need a couple of tablespoons of oil here. And here comes the fun part. Pushing your fingers into the dough to make those characteristic dimples for a focaccia. You can, of course, use any topping you like. I'm going to use basil and tomato with just a hint of cheese. I've popped a little bit of oil on these basil leaves to bring out the flavour and I'm using these baby plum tomatoes. I've sliced them lengthways. You can use any cheese you like. Today I'm using extra mature cheddar so the flavour goes a long way. Plenty of salt flakes and it's ready to go into the oven. Once it's baked, it's very important that straight from the oven you find your very favourite olive oil and douse liberally. I've chosen extra virgin truffle olive oil for this. The only thing left to do now is to leave it to cool for just 10 minutes and then you can tuck in and enjoy. Crisp on the outside, soft and fluffy on the inside and beautifully flavoured on top. I think I'll have mine with extra truffle oil. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you very soon. Take care.